As you may know, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds released today on Steam Early Access. You may have a beast of a machine already, but there are some easy adjustments you can do to both increase your FPS and overall performance. At the moment, there's also a bug that is causing the view distance option to not be adjustable via individual graphics settings, so keep that in mind. If you want to force change this, you would have to adjust the overall graphic options or directly edit the gameusersettings.ini file. Here's how to access and edit the file. Go to your user profile and navigate to the file labeled as this, using the file explorer when exited out of the game. Go to local forward slash shooter game forward slash or TSL game forward slash saved forward slash config forward slash windows no editor. Open game user settings dot ini using notepad or notepad plus plus. Try lowering the value of view distance to either one or zero and then save the file. If you can't see the app data folder, go to your view options and check the hidden files box. These tips to increase your FPS on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds are not obligatory, and you can adjust them however you see fit. The adjustments I discuss are just recommendations of mine and my personal preference. Let's start with visual adjustments. At the top right of your screen in the main menu, navigate to the gear icon. You should immediately see the graphics menu to change your settings. From here, you can change your resolution, brightness, and other visual quality assets. Here's what you're going to want to turn down. First is anti-aliasing. If your GPU is on the lower end, I'd recommend turning this down to a minimum. If not, I'd still put it on low. You want as much FPS as you can grab in any shooter. Next is post-processing. The same idea here with anti-aliasing, just turn it down to at least low. Next up is the shadows. I turn down shadows as much as I can regardless of my PC specs. They help very rarely, since you can hear footsteps much easier in Battlegrounds than in H1Z1. However, you could leave this on medium or low if you feel like you'll run into campers. Next are the textures. Texture quality doesn't push your game too hard. You can leave it at medium for lower end PCs and it'll still run fine. Next up is the effects. Similar to texture quality, though you may want to drop the low if your GPU can't handle the game properly. That's as far as you need to drop the effects quality though. Next up is foliage. Just go to a minimum no matter what your PC is. This isn't so much for a PC boost as it is for a tactical advantage. Less foliage means less chance of other players blending in. And last is the motion blur. Absolutely turn this off unless you prefer the feel that motion blur offers, or if you dislike being nauseous. And next up is the screen scale. Similar to Battlefield 1 and Star Wars Battlefront, you should be able to adjust your screen scale. Lowering the variable should make the game look less visually appealing overall, but should drastically increase your performance as well. You can find the option in the same graphics menu as the other visual adjustments. I toyed around with the screen scale during the Battlegrounds beta and found that, at about 85%, the game still looks fairly decent. However, to keep a nice balance between visuals and performance, I would recommend no more than 90%. You don't need to change your resolution to a lower setting unless you absolutely need to. And last are the launch options. In addition to changing a few of your graphical settings as shown above, you might also want to set up some launch commands through Steam. Using the following command will prioritize your CPU cores to player unknowns battlegrounds rather than only a few. This will allow you to increase your view distance if you want, but you may still want to keep that down for a constant high FPS. You can do it by right clicking the game in the Steam client, selecting properties from the dropdown, hit set launch options, and boom! Type the command in the box provided and you're good to go. And don't worry, changing launch options will not get you banned from Steam or in Battlegrounds. By changing these settings in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, I was able to grab an extra 50 SPS or so, though your results might vary from mine. Enjoying Battlegrounds so far? Is it better than H1Z1? Let me know down in the comments. And remember to like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more Battlegrounds guides. You're watching Esports on PvP Live.